Hello viewers and welcome back to God of War 2 and today is our finale. Today we finish off the loop and finish the game. So when we enter the history, I think the fourth thing is quite the same, but you gotta be careful. If you got low health, try to when you when you gets his hand on the blade, just try to attack him when he is not when he's not trying to kill you, just go after when he attacks, and then you might get a good chance. And as a pro tip, try to gather all of the pieces. Try to use the golden slates as much as you can. Absorb them and then fire them back a bit. You get some magic and a little bit of health and a little bit of magic, so you might want to keep that in mind. And yeah, those lightning bolts can be a pain with all that damage, so you might want to use the golden speed. But yeah, it's pretty much a god speed with, uh, with the golden sleep in this boss battle. You still got the forces combo, you still got all the things from the second phase of the fight. So you might have to be careful with this boss, he can be trouble. I don't know what he's like on Titan, but I think it's going to be hard as hell. So you might want to kill him as fast as you can. Get through this fight. But just try to save some help and try to stay alive. And yeah, just keep using the golden blade and it'll help you a lot in this fight. It's just pretty much the same, and wow. I thought we were going to have to do two more parts, but um, it's actually going to be just this whole part finishing it off in long last. I mean, we had a pretty long journey going through this entire boss getting to this. All the crap that we had to go through, and a lot of character development. We haven't even gotten to the end. To the ending, my god, the ending was kind of creative. And it does, and it does work with the whole story of the Titans and the gods, the Great War. Everybody knows the story on the reasons why Kronos. And they pick out some of like the beginning between Gaia and the, the guy, the god, the, the Titan of the sky. Face, like thing, and Cronus had to kill his father because his father was not a very nice guy. He had to talk all of his bastard children into some hectic thing. I forgot most of it. He had, he had the Titans that were perfect. The I don't have to get thousand heads and a thousand arms, guys. And I think they made, and they made one other thing, I forgot what it was. And then Cronus said, you know what? He's killing my brother, and he should pay for it. And so when we get to this bit, Zeus is going to reclaim the blade once more. But this time, he thinks he, he, he went way too far, and he activates his golden sword shield. So the best way, try to save your magic for this bit, because when you destroy all those golden orbs, the golden orbs barrier, you get some rage the titan stuff. So I think this is a good time to use, try to save as much magic from the third phase, the fourth phase, and the second phase of the fight. Save that magic as fast as possible, if you have a buttload of magic, just use Cyclone Chain fully leveled, and that thing will go down like a Saigon horse. I keep saying that a lot, don't I? So, yeah, just, and then he'll just go back to sword swinging once more. Just like the same, but it's much shorter, so let's finish this guy off. After another struggle with Zeus, plunging the blade into the stomach and chucking it over to another pillar. It 
and just go over there and finish the job. I know this is probably the most badass way to finish this, this entire fight off, but we haven't gotten to the most badass part of this fight. That happens right about now. When we reach here, you, you get to a checkpoint, and Zeus just grows as huge as a titan. When he does that lightning, you can try to block that electricity, but it's just pointless. And I do like this bit coming up. What? And by the way, I just want to play along, I don't want to spoil it. I mean, Kratos is going to let you kill him? What is Kratos thinking? He should have... He's just like, okay, you're giving up? Okay. I will release you from your life. But your torment is just and strike golden fleece, bitch! You forgot the golden fleece, and that was quite a clever plan to actually get him to a smaller form. I have to admit that is a smart strategy. He's not a meathead, I and mean, sometimes he can actually think. So yeah, there's one more prompt that we have to go through. This is probably the best part of this entire fight. After this, we enter the second to last cutscene. Enjoy. You dare stand against me, Athena? I do not wish to fight you, Kratos, but I will defend Olympus. Know this, my son. You have started a war you cannot possibly win. The fates have already deemed me victorious. No, Kratos! Stop! <laughs> No! Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. He brought this to himself. Because of fear, Kratos. A fear felt by his father, Kronos. A fear that wrought the great war. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. No son should destroy his own father. No, I have no father. God after God will deny you, Kratos. They will protect Zeus. Zeus must live so that Olympus will prevail. If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. I have lived in the shadow of the gods for long enough. The time of the gods has come to an end. Kratos, you have the power to control time itself. And with that, we have defeated Zeus for now, and now we need to make a house call. We need to call ourselves. We need an army to take down Zeus. And the best way to take him down? And the best way to take him down, I think we need a powerful arm. So, let's head over to the thread. And I think I got a good, I think we all know what he's gonna need to take on the god. I mean, he would have to be insane to take them all on, just a one-man personal army. 
You're going to need a much bigger army than that. Though with the powers of threads, we must turn our own thread back. Much further. Further after the whole sky. The battle with Zeus. Through the underworld, we need the power of the Titan. So, we just have to do this room one more time. Let's use the switch to raise the elevator, spin under the gate, and finally, going through the magic mirror to take us back to the time of the Great War. To the most best part cutscene in the entire game. Expecting you, ghost of Sparta. The gods are far too powerful for us to defeat now. All on Olympus tremble at my name. Zeus is weak. Ares and Athena are dead, and I wield the blade. We can win the great war, but not in this time. Together, we will destroy the petty gods, and we will see Olympus crumble before us. Come with me, Gaia. Return to my time. Victory awaits. We have faced far worse than this one fallen mortal. But we are the gods. We whom the mortals worship. We who rule over this land. We who will not be swept aside by this petulant fool. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite, we will stand together, and I will wipe out this plague! Olympus will prevail! And with that vow of killing all the gods of Olympus, the Titans rise again, with cities burning in fire. And, until we return to God of War 3, the end begins. But before that, we may have to go through some minor things, with, with some little with two PSP games, and then finally, the end will begin. And that was pretty as much it. We have reached the credits of the, we have done with God of War 2. And by God, it's still good even when I still have my copy still of the PlayStation 2 version of God of War 2. This is probably when the PS2, they know how to surpass the graphics of the PS2. With the cutscene, it looks like PlayStation 3 engine today. If people actually agree with it, but still, but still, we have reached the rank of God. But still, I really enjoyed this. And until then, we'll start with PSP 2. With the PSP. Until then, 